Right now, there is a focus on saving our planet. And in my lieu, a local artist is doing his part. He's creating unique and sustainable works by thinking outside the box. Heads of animals adorn the walls. It's kind of like a faux taxidermy piece. Faux creatures. Something you're never gonna see. That's quite frankly amazing. What may be most amazing is the fact that Justin King's animals take that box, cut it up, and you go to town. Are all made out of cardboard. I started making paper mache things, you know, like just old school, like the way you did when you were younger. As he got older, his works, the first pieces were sloppy, evolved. I started getting better at it and kind of carving my own little niche. Justin doesn't carve his pieces, he works the cardboard, pinching twisting and gluing. The hot glue gun's probably something you gotta worry about. With his bare hands. Your hands will get tired if you've never done it before. It is labor intensive. Some of the bigger pieces can take a couple weeks. One of the biggest. I made like a six foot rubber duck. He sat it out on South Grand, but the water. Starting to collapse on itself. Didn't exactly roll off its back. Some of that work that is art, that is short lived like that is, it is all about making it. You're not looking for that end thing, it's, it's a process that you're enjoying. A process that's been good for his soul and a process that is good for the planet. This stuff you can, can be recycled for, you know, like I said, five to seven times. So it's a great product to use. A product that allows him to express himself in ways that few artists can. Definitely one of a few. A product that's helping him reach many. The medium has given me an audience. Giving his audience zoo-worthy creatures that you don't actually see out in the wild. I love natural history, but I also love really kind of garish pop stuff as well. The real and the imaginary coming together. I just always think that those are cool animals. This week you can see Justin's cardboard creations at the City Museum. The exhibit is on the third floor and will be there through Friday.